We're gonna be 3D printing. Drum roll, please. A dragon egg. Yes, don't get too excited. I'm not 3D printing an actual dragon, but an egg for a dragon. That's right. And you go in there. You really thought I was gonna print a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's get started with this 3D print. The dragon egg has finished. I've waited for this thing all night. It was a 13 hour print that's at 0.1 millimeter layer height. Produces a really nice clay model. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, do the usual. Who's ever ever watched my channel before will know exactly what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna clean these parts up. Beautiful, right? Let's go ahead and put this dragon egg together. Okay, so the first off, we have a part here and here. Uh, threads inside of here, threads inside of here. And basically this just screws in like so, all the way to the end, beautiful. And then this one screws on like this. And wow, that's the dragon egg. <laughs> that's so cool. You know what this looks like? This looks like a pine cone. I bet you that pine cones are dragon eggs. Maybe they're like, forest dragons or something. And you know what the best part about this egg is? The fact that you have a container. You can hide stuff in here, shut it up like that, and no one would ever know that you've hidden something in here. Just like that. You know, I bet you a pair of keys would fit in there beautifully. So if you wanted to, you could paint this and you could put this in your front uh, yard or something in a decoration, maybe get a couple dragons to go along with it. Um, and just sat there actually impressed because, you know, threads is a challenging thing to design. One of the things that I should have done here, uh, which I didn't, is if this egg gets tightened down too tight, it's going to break. Um, and that's because these threads here were printed upright, which is nice and easy to print, not so effective when it comes down to stress. Because if I take this part and it starts to, and the threads start to tighten down here, and you have two pieces, it's going to try to pull this piece apart. And that may result in the layers breaking because when you have three printed layers, they stack a certain way. Like right now, they're stacked up like pancakes, right? On top of this layer like that. And that's all fine and dandy, but now its weak point is gonna be anywhere that's horizontally to it. Um, and if we put it like this, and we try to pull it apart, for instance, like this, it's gonna be at its strongest because the layers go this way, right? Around this way. And if you have if, if you have layers like that, you're not gonna be able to break this part very easy by pulling it apart like this. But you can pull it like this and it will break really easy. So stress points in parts is always a very good thing to think about. Um, in this part, I wouldn't have printed it any other way. Uh, it's basically nearly impossible to print like this. It's gonna create a very rough thread um, and it's also just in general isn't going to be very effective in this pattern because now you have to worry about this support on this edge and this edge when you're printing and you're going to get warping right here and here and it's going to mess with threads and it's going to look awful. So in this case it, it, it's better to go this way. Some of you may be wondering why I 3D printed an egg. I 3D printed this dragon egg actually for a friend. Okay, well, I think that wraps up this video. Of course, if you like this video, check out my channels because I have tons like it of different things that I have printed. All right, thank you for watching. And of course, we will see you next week. <laughs>